This is a tale of two vehicles, both stolen from their owners. It was one I had always wanted. This was Louis Schneider's 2008 Pontiac. You don't find them every day. And this was Larry Lakovich's Ford F-250. That was my main bread and butter. Police found both the vehicles and turned them over to the St. Louis City tow lot. Under city ordinance, auto theft victims can pick up their vehicles without charge within 72 hours. Unclaimed vehicles can be auctioned off after 30 days, yet neither Louise or Larry would ever drive their vehicles out of the tow lot. It all came down to paperwork. I hadn't titled it yet. It wasn't even 30 days that I had this car and it was taken. Louise says she didn't even know the city tow lot had her car until three days before they auctioned it off. And it come to find out that they actually contacted the uh, previous owner of the vehicle. We didn't send it to the wrong party. We sent a note to the registered owner, okay, at the time. And that's what the state statute says to do. Todd Walterman, director of operations for the city, says when possible, the tow lot works to reunite auto theft victims with their property. We hold up auctions. To get your vehicle back, Walterman says the tow lot requires very specific paperwork. So you got to be the registered owner. That's the key words, the registered owner. People nowadays, you can make any document up you want. It was already paid for. I had the original title signed over to us by the, from the used car lot. In Larry's case, he had the title, but hadn't registered the truck in his name. I just kept putting it off. City Tow refused to release Larry's truck without that paperwork. A few weeks later, his Ford was sold at auction. I lost it to somebody else, not to the state who the, the taxes was owed on. That's what's bad. Why do they get it? We deal with millions of dollars for the vehicles every year. So we in the state feel strongly that the registered owner is documented by title action. Walterman does see a possible solution to the problem. It's a measure Missouri lawmakers have tried to pass at least a dozen times. Add the sales tax and plating expense into the cost of the car when they're selling it. To put it in the bill of sale and do it all at once, and that would really help this whole registration deal. But it wouldn't help Larry or Louise. And to replace it, it would probably be, as clean as it was, probably close to $7,000. Oh, it was heartbreaking. I'm a single mom of three boys, and that was the only vehicle I had. Both Larry and Louise say they were victims, and they felt the tow lot was working against them instead of helping them reunite with their vehicles. For the I-Team, PJ Randawa, five on your side.